Hello everyone and welcome back here to the Wormworld. We are recovering from that rather disastrous uh, attack in the previous episode, but uh, hopefully things are going to get back to normal quite quickly for Ben, Emmy, Clara and Herdina. We have Galga now who is our prisoner. He's healing up. Uh, let's see what state he's in. Um, yep, he's all bandaged up so hopefully he will get better he's sanguine with a green thumb so he's probably going to end up to be our gardener if we do manage to recruit him let's hope you do uh, a number of cargo pods crashing nearby that's fairly far away to be totally honest with you i don't think going for a bit of uh uranium is going to help us there we might get it one day when we move a bit closer but uh not for now and we have a slave trader passing nearby who I think I'm going to ask Emmy to go and talk to. Don't think it's going to be much use, but we can always give it a try. Now, this episode, all I want to do is get this, bed this last bedroom sorted out. We will get this corridor in. I want to make us a... I think we're going to go for the... Um, a hospital prison complex up here and we'll do crafting down here so we'll start planning that at the very least and it would be nice if we start getting back on to um, research and stone crafting and getting this wall done we have a little bit of stone in fact it would not hurt to us to uh, put that in as build but let's get the bedrooms done first shall we Adina uh, you're hauling Ben can you haul some of this steel for us please okay let's have a quick look and see what this guy's got to sell okay we could sell him Galga uh, unfortunately oh okay well, we can sell him a short bow I think that's it okay bit of an anticlimax there mind right we're getting this uh, metal port which is good that's structure we have a wood wall like that and like that leave us a little gap there just to finish things off and furniture a wooden bed oh hold on cancel that put it on the wrong side a wooden bed we'll go there a standing lamp which will go there and once all that's done we'll just put that final bit of uh, wood in and that's the bedroom continue uh, finished off and then I think the next task will be to start on these walls here Actually, no. Fourteen percent chance of recruiting Galga. That's not bad. I can see that happening. Let's. What I want to do is I want to get this area all um yeah. I want to get this area all blocked by pine tree. Okay, looks like we're going to have to do another row. Yeah, I want to get this area all paved. Because that will make our turbines more efficient. We won't have to worry about that again. So that's going to be done quite quickly. Oh, that poor squirrel. Before you go to bed, go and have a chat with that squirrel. And I uh, just noticed you need a gun again, so... And you've done that as a reward you can have a Lee Enfield good man equip Lee Enfield and you can now go into the pot off to bed with you actually let's get that uh, meat in the freezer 
No sense on letting it go to waste. And while I'm thinking about it, bills config that uh, the simple bills will only use vegetable matter. So basically, fifty-three different varieties of potato. Bulk goods trader. Now that one, that's actually quite interesting. I've just noticed some of these lights are off. We don't need to worry about the power anymore. So let's just turn them all on. There we go. Right, all that, all that metal is hauled. So Clara, not a hauler. Emmy, are you a hauler? Yeah, get that chunk out of the way, and then we can put a bit of wall into place. Right, there we go, and that's uh, six bedrooms sorted out. Uh, a group of hungry, hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the region. Where's the alpha be uh, beavers? Oh, there's quite a few alpha beavers actually. Right, orders. Hunt. And not only are they large and voracious, they're also tasty. So somebody will come over and hunt those fairly soon. And that will probably sort out our meat requirements. And I think there goes Hadina to hunt. Excellent. Right, that floor is almost done. And when it is, we'll start on this wall a little bit, I think. Okay, it's a structure. Limestone, so. Let's put uh, some wood wall builders in here, like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the middle. Six, six. There we go. Get that bit of wall done. And actually, while we're thinking about it, let's have a nice big limestone auto door there. Actually, yes, let's have a nice big limestone auto door there. We're going to put power up here separately for the weapons. I'm going to learn my lesson from the last time around, I think. Yes. Beaver skin. Oh, yes. I just realized I've now got to do something. So, Emmy, when you're done with that, let's go and have a look at this bulk trader. Uh, poor Emmy does so many jobs. It's, uh, it's unfair, really. Okay, so, bulk goods trader. Right, don't want to sell you steel. We'll sell you the boar skin. Um, won't sell you the beaver skin. I've got to use this plan for that, but you can have the squirrel skin. There we go. That's giving us a little bit more money. And have you got anything that I would like? Yes. But I can't afford a single bit of it. So... Right, that will have to do. Okay, so we're making lots of stone. And we're going to be left just with sandstone, which is fine by me. So like we uh, looks like we're laying out some of the limestone here. That's great. This is limestone. It's got a reasonable amount of uh, health to it, so that'll be all right. And for what use you were, might as well turn you off for a bit. Excellent. We just mine that one little bit there. We can put another uh, solar panel in there. And while we're at it, what I'm thinking for this area is we say put a a doorway there. And I'm thinking we'll put a doorway there as well to connect it in. 
and we'll seal this area off here so there'll be a door, a couple of heat extractors, a bit of wall there and in here in here we will put four. it's probably going to be good so we'll have bed space, bed, bed, space, bed, bed, space bed that we'll just put another door in like that that will be our infirmary in fact it's probably too deep yeah it's too deep so make it that deep and up here we will have another area so we'll put a door there we'll make this one a little bit deeper one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's probably good, I think. And that will be our crafting area. So we'll put our craft benches in against the wall here, and we'll just have storage space behind it for raw materials. Down here, we're having uh, the infirmary raw materials there. I mean, well, I will probably reserve this area for a bedroom area, and actually, while I'm thinking about it, Let's have an area here for arts and crafts as well. Doesn't need to be a large area, in fact it can be quite a small area, it's not going to be any storage required because it will take the raw resources from here and work on them for quite a bit of time actually. So infirmary, um, crafts, arts, that leaves a space up here, up here for beds, probably here as well. Uh, we do need a battery room, which is uh, going to be quite important, and in fact, hmm, I'd probably make this a battery storage area and move these items out, thinking about it. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right, let's get things going again. What was that message? Bob Goods Trader. And we successfully recruited Galga. Excellent. So let's have a quick look at Galga. So Galga is a reasonable doctor actually better than these guys so you guys are no longer doctor you are and you can do firefighting and and have you Clara looking uh, okay right so you're also a good cook it would be good to split those two jobs up, so we'll probably make you a backup cook later on. Um, you don't like hunting, so we won't ask you to hunt. And you don't like either of those, so we won't ask you to do those. You are fairly good at growing. So if we do that... We'll make you our main crafter. Actually, I'm thinking about this a little bit. Um, if I remember, you're the one with the green thumb, aren't you? So, actually, right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take you off of growing as your main priority. You can do wardening and. We get you to do the crafting and you can do a backup crafting your main focus is gardening because you have a lot of passion for it um, don't ask you to do either of those and if you're not doing any of that just clean alright so then we can put you back up on to concentrating on cooking. If you're not cooking, you do research. Yeah, let's spread the jobs out a little bit, isn't it? So, Galga there. Quick look at you. You're in no injuries, no problems. You're incapable of nothing. You've got a green thumb, which is the reason why I want you to concentrate on growing because you get a mood bonus so as long as you're in the garden you're happy 
and you're happy anyway to start off with so I'm kind of hoping that you're gonna have sort of the mental fortitude to to cope nothing else right let's get you some kit shall we what have we got actually what have you got you've got tribal wear it looks like you're stuck with tribal wear for now uh, yep there is a bit we've got a pistol for you and you get back to it excellent Right, so Galga, Galga is off to the garden. Uh, it's perfect. How are we doing with the angry beavers? We seem to be mostly beaver free. A mildly shaved area there, and that's going to be the last joke of that I do. I promise you. Oh, mostly. Right, so we have that. We have the wall coming along nicely. Let's get the rest of the plans in for the wall there. Structure, limestone wall. Got the plans there, there. There and there. As soon as we get that sealed off, we can perhaps hunt all the animals in this area just to clear it up. And then we don't have to worry about things nibbling on our harvest. And then we can start working on the kill zone, which would be good. Emmy, our sex slave is board and repair crafting. Excellent, that's good. As soon as that wall looks like it's going to get near completion, in fact, we might as well do it now. Uh, structure. Have another bit of limestone wall there. And what I'm thinking here is we'll have. All my automatic door like that and then mental break Ben is being precious again why are you being precious again Ben observed rotting corpse all oh, those things up there well you're not near them anymore so don't worry about it too much you'll be alright okay so where were we we were planning this so we'll put two coolers in here like that and then any excess power and any excess heat that gets pumped into this area by uh, pumped into the corridor by these uh, these heaters can then get pumped outside so we should have some nice temperature temperature regulation in there and when it starts to get cold, we'll start thinking about putting some heaters in this area as well. Right, one of the things we do actually need to put in here is some light. So if we have one, say, there, there, and let's say there. And what the heck, let's have one in the corner as well. Yep, okay, so Emmy is creating the limestone nicely. Trade ship, where are you, Emmy? You've gone to bed. What's going on here? Right, okay, right. Hadina. You can have your locked room back. He said it's not medical. Set for colonists, set owner. Hadina. And let's get rid of that uh, floor space. Then you guys are both going to be happier. You have your own room and neither of you are sleeping on the floor. And I won't go so far as to say everyone's happy when Ben's in the room. But uh, Galgar at least is happy. There we go. We'll go with that. Galgar is happy. And what more could we want from the world? Okay. Okay. Right, don't think I really want you cleaning up out there. Zone, remove home region. There. Yeah, I know we're going to have to add some of this back in his home region later on, but there's no reason for anybody to be cleaning up out there at the moment, especially when there's all those corpses there. Put that 
that's all looking good. We're almost a bit sealed in. Combat supplier, ME. Let's have a quick look at what they want. And um, while we've got this pause, temperature 21 degrees. 21 degrees sounds quite nice actually. So they should be pulling the heat out fairly soon. Right, we sell that club. We'll sell that club. Medicine is quite cheap. We've uh, got a lot, but let's just have a let's just have one. Give us around twenty. Don't need shells for anything. Is there a nice weapon you can sell us? And the answer to that, I think, is no. Nothing there we actually need. Don't need any of these uh, melee weapons. The Kevlar helmet would be nice, but we're probably going to get some. Um, yep, yeah, I think we're done. Right. There. 21, 22, yeah, okay, they're chugging along nicely. They're keeping the temperature down reasonable. Right. They're sucking in a bit of power. But that's not actually that surprising. Uh, mortars are built. Excellent. I think we'll have cremation next. And we'll do geothermal power after that, most likely. Uh, yeah, we are almost done on the walls. We finally have a sealed area here. Maintaining a decent temperature there. We've frozen that area off. What do the bedrooms look like? The bedrooms have got a nice temperature inside them as well. Uh, compared to outside, which is getting a bit cooler. I think we're doing well here. Okay, so this is uh, good for the episode, I think. We are now well over 20 minutes, so next episode we will... I think we'll chuck in another solar panel here. Oh, hold on. I think... Um... Add no roof region. Because you see that one is, as far as it's concerned, it's under a roof, which is not helping us any. There we go. Oh, we got power out of that one again. Right, okay, so. Yep, yeah, I think we're, we're getting good here. We're, we're, we're not producing quite enough power yet, but that's not a disaster at the moment. So next episode, I think, there we go, right, we've wall, we walled in now, so as far as it's concerned, this area is all roofed, so let's quickly put a, add a no-roof region to the whole lot. Like that. Definitely like that. Honestly, I think the rest of it can it can consider roofed as far as I'm concerned. Definitely cover these uh, wind turbines, mind, because otherwise we're not going to get any power out of them. Excellent. Right, okay, for the third time, I think we're done. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the Room World. Next episode, we'll have uh, some mods. Thank you, and good night. Good night, there.